So hello out there in internet land. I don't make videos like I used to, of course. Only a handful of people from my old channel even know about this channel. I'd like to keep it that way. Uh, I'm going to talk about our uh, last election. And the reason is because a particular person that I used to know ran for office and this person he, he's run for office before I, I, I remember him running once before I don't know if he's run more than that well he lost a Democrat won and um, in the previous election this individual lost to a Democrat I mean, this person loses significantly any of this group of people. And I, before I go on, I want to I want to say this video is intended for adults. It's not intended for children because of the subject matter. Um, so if you're too young, you need to go to another video. Um, and excuse the way I, I say some things because I'm just going to say some things. Uh, but um, anyway so this person is involved with a group in our area and this this group of people they, they have a leader even though they claim to be leaderless I've talked about them in the past I don't really want to go too much in into those people is there a waste of time? It, it's a waste of time to talk about them. Um, and they're becoming more and more irrelevant every day. Uh, they're bullies. And some of them are pedophiles. And I don't like that. So, anyway, this individual ran for office and lost. This individual ran for office at least one time before and lost. And the last, not this time, but the previous time, he went up against somebody who openly stated she wants to get rid of freedom. That's pretty damn bad if you're going to lose to somebody that openly advocates the removal of freedom. That's pretty damn bad. Now, when you, and there were a lot, this person had a lot of signs up in, in our town. So a lot of people were supporting him. But when you are involved, when you, you're, you're not simply loosely associated with somebody, you're deeply involved with them. And that group of people bullies people, harasses people, uh, lies about people, threatens people, uh, damages people's property. And they're, and they claim to be leaderless, but they have a leader and that leader openly advocates sex with children. That's sick. And this, their dear leader had a girlfriend who was 14 years old. The age of consent in New Hampshire is 16. And I so wish that he would have been brought up on charges. Uh, when, I don't know how often he gets arrested now, he's probably tired of being arrested. But they used to keep him in a separate area of the jail. And there was a reason for that. It was for his safety. And, um, anyway, so when you're involved with a group that, have, and, and look, dude, you have children. Yet you don't have a problem being around people that openly support pedophilia who in one or more cases has been with children you're sick you know I'm sorry but that's just a fact you're a sick person uh, all of those people are sick and there's a reason you're not going to get elected there are reasons you lose if this person runs again I may actually call the person out actually 
publicly mention the person. I mean, mention the actual person. Actually, what do I say? I might actually mention his name. I'm not going to mention it in this video, but when you, you know, it, it's not just you know one or two or three things. The list goes up. You know, it gets deeper and deeper. You know, you have homosexual orgies and bisexual orgies, uh, sex with children, advocating sex with children, harassing people, assaulting people, uh, lying about people, damaging people's property. When you are involved with people like that, you probably are not going to get elected, at least not in New Hampshire, okay? because we have a relatively small population. People know each other. People know about others. Uh, is there are a lot of people in town. I don't know, but I know about them. There are a lot of people that don't personally know me, but they know about me. So, when you, you know, if you really want to get elected, you're going to have to not simply disassociate from those people you're going to have to come out and publicly denounce their practices. That's, that's just what you're going to have to do. And I mean, you're going to have to actually have nothing to do with them anymore. And you're going to have to be willing and able and actually do it and say, look, you're wrong. You can't be doing these things. But you don't. You, you continue your involvement with, with people like that, and you're not going to get elected. Uh, this particular person, he had a child that was in our wedding. He actually attended our wedding. And that particular child of his was an integral part of our wedding, as a matter of fact. And he's a nice guy. I mean, if you just talk to him, he seems like a really nice guy. But he gives that wink to other guys. I don't like that. Um, and you can't be involved with these people that are doing these things and saying the things they say and doing the things they do and expect people to support you and again if you run for office again I most likely will actually mention your name and I will talk about some of the stuff I'm talking about right now because it's wrong. It's just wrong. And there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just wrong. So if you wonder why you can't get elected, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't know you anymore. I have nothing to do with you or those people anymore. I don't know what they're saying or doing anymore. So, you know, I don't know if you're blaming, you know, this person or that group or whatever for your failure to get elected. Your dear leader, he gets like less than half a percent of the vote when he runs for office. He runs as a Republican, a Democrat, a Libertarian, an Independent. And he can't even get half a percent of the vote. So he gets other people to run for office. And he, you know, there, there's a pretend separation between the two. That veil is very thin, by the way. And um, so if you can't get elected and you're one of those people, you should uh, think about why you're not getting elected, why people will refuse to support you, why people refuse to donate to you, why people refuse to vote for you. I mean, I went over there to vote. I saw him. He was out there. He was standing out there with some other people. I should have said, you still support so-and-so the pedophile? But I didn't do that. I just ignore him. You know, I, uh, the time before this, when he was running, I saw him in a local restaurant, and I just totally ignored him. Um, that's what I do with these people. I don't, 
you know, when, when you, you're dealing with, with sociopaths and psychopaths, the best thing you can do is cut them out of your life. And that's what I've pretty much done with these people, except, you know, like I make a video from time to time and uh, I refer to them. But I, I, this is a video about a specific, specific person and why I don't think he can get elected or why any of them can get elected. And if they do get elected, it's through, through subterfuge because they, they're not going to be honest about what they really believe. You know, if you're dishonest about what you really believe and what you practice, it will eventually be found out.